Good morning, friends. I hope you're really excited to be here today with me. I'm really excited to be here today with you. We had an extra long weekend. We didn't have school on Friday. We didn't have school on Saturday. We didn't have school on Sunday. And we didn't have school yesterday on Monday. So that was four days I didn't get to do this. So I missed it. I hope you missed it too. Let's start by singing our song. Are you ready? Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good job singing. All right, let's say good morning to mummies and daddies and good morning to brothers and sisters. I'll say good morning to Mr. Sean and to Theo. And then we'll say good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning. All right, friends. So I have a little bit to talk to you about today. So we had a holiday yesterday. I hope we got outside and we did lots of fun things. But today we're going to learn about the pond. And I think it's kind of a fitting day because it's not very nice outside, is it? No, it's not very nice outside. But before we get into all that, I do want to know how you're feeling today. Can you tell me? Great job. So I feel a little bit yellow and a little bit green. Mostly green though. So just a little bit yellow. I feel good, but I feel tired. I didn't get a lot of rest on the weekend. I was doing so many things. I was trying to catch up on work. I was trying to do too many things is basically what that means. So is it okay that I feel both things, that I feel a little bit tired and I feel a little bit happy, but that I'm yellow and I'm green? Yeah, it's totally fine. All right, so let's get started by figuring out what the day of the week is. Hmm. So we know that yesterday it was Monday because I told you. Do you know what today is? Those are some really good guesses. So let's get out our two fingers and our five fingers just like this. Are we ready? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. Do you think you could sing it in French? I bet you can. Let's try. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Dimanche, lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi. Great job. Hmm. But do we know what day of the week it is? Hmm. If yesterday was m m Monday, that means that today is t t Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, and we're going to have some fun. Excellent. Can you say Mardi? Great job. So that means Tuesday in French. So today is Tuesday, or today is Mardi. But we need to figure out what number this is. I don't know what number that is. It's a pretty big number. And we're gonna have to figure it out by counting. So grab your circle time sheets and your pointers. I'll grab my pointer and we'll do some counting. Are you ready? Let's go. So we'll start all the way down here at number one. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Good job. So the one and the nine is nineteen. So we would write that like this. T Tuesday. And then remember it's still May, so our flower. 
And then the big number I counted to today is number 19. So we can say Tuesday, May 19. I don't know about you, but I feel like the month is just flying by. There's so many things we have to start doing to get ready for the end of our year. It's crazy. So that's what I wanna to talk to you about today, is that it's almost time for us to start getting ready for our year end. Now, normally, if we were at preschool, we would start practicing some songs but we're not. So I'm gonna make a separate video where I practice those songs, just two, I think just two of the songs. And you can try to practice them at home if you want. You don't have to though, but just kind of a fun way for you to show mommies and daddies things that we would be working on right now. We're also gonna talk a little bit about what our year end looks like, because it's gonna be a little bit different than, than it normally would have been. Normally we would have had our year end concert, I would have presented you with certificates and we would have had a lemonade bar, but we're not able to do those things this year. So I'll be sending mummies and daddies home an email talking about things that we're gonna do instead of that. All right, so the weather. Let's talk about the weather since we figured out what the date is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? Hmm. I want you to use your looking eyes and look outside and tell me what weather you see. Great job. So where I am, it's not very nice today. So I am going to put up the rain. And then I also want to make sure I put up the clouds because I definitely see clouds up in the sky. So we'll put those there. So today, do you think the panda should wear his running shoes or do you think he should wear his rain boots? Yeah, he should wear his rain boots. We don't want his feet getting wet and we don't want his feet getting cold. Do you think the panda should wear shorts or should he wear pants? Mm, pants are a safe choice. They'll make sure his legs stay nice and warm. And then we're gonna make sure that the panda stays extra dry by wearing his raincoat today. There we go. Our panda is all ready. All right. So we figured out what the weather is. Our panda is dressed. We figured out the date. Let's talk about our craft today in our storybook. So I have this storybook to read to you. What's on the cover of my storybook? Turtles, that's right. That's what we're gonna make for craft today. So let's sit crisscross applesauce, show me what good listeners you are, and I'll read us a story. I'm a good listener, read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, here is the story I have for you today. So my storybook has two turtles on the front and it says turtle splash countdown at the pond. Ten. Can you show me ten fingers? Good job. Ten timid turtles lounging in a line, startled by a bullfrog. <gasps> what happened? Did this one fall in? Then there are nine. Nine napping turtles. The day is growing late. A rabbit rustles in the leaves. Uh-oh, another one fell in. Now there are eight. Eight lazy turtles resting without care. A red squirrel scampers by the log. Uh-oh, one more fell in. Seven still are there. Oh, they keep falling in the pond. Seven sleepy turtles hear the crunch of sticks. Deer appear beside the shore. 
Now there are six. Six sunning turtles watching ducklings dive. The mother mallard quacks at them. What sound does a duck make? Quack, quack. <laughs> now how many are left? Then there are five. Five idle turtles lolling by the shore. Pollywogs swirl by their log. Now there are four. Four drowsy turtles, quiet as can be. A butterfly flutters by. This one seems to be falling in. Now there's only three. Three carefree turtles beneath the sky so blue. A chickadee chirps in a tree. How many are left? Then there are two. One, two. Two silent turtles watching the setting sun. Mosquitoes buzz above their heads. Now there's only one. One lonely turtle in the fading light. Splash! That one went in. Ten tired turtles settle for the night. Get them all. So there were ten turtles on the log, and then by the end of the night, there were all ten turtles in the bottom of the pond. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Sleep tight. Whoa, that was a good book. All right, so our craft today is a turtle. Actually, a couple of turtles, I think. So you need, I'm just gonna go by my instructions here to make sure I do it in the right order. So you need a sheet of paper. You're going to need your craft kit. You're going to need some scissors and some glue and your pencil and then also a crayon or a marker. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna open up this kit and you're gonna take out your cupcake liners. So those are these. And then you're gonna need, there's a bunch of green pieces of paper. Let's see what we got. So all of these little, little pieces of paper. And then you also need the tiniest set of eyeballs. So there should be three sets of eyeballs or three sizes of eyeballs. You need the smallest one. Okay, I'm missing one, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away. I think I'm done with this, yes. So you should have big squares and skinny, or sorry, this is not a square. What shape is this? A rectangle, so you should have some fat rectangles and some skinny rectangles. You should also have two of these shapes. You might have different sizes than me. So those are our turtle heads. You'll have eyes and then these cupcake liners. So I gave you enough pieces to do two turtles, but if you want to do more turtles, if you have green paper or even if you have other um, colors of paper and you wanna do that, that's fine. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut. Okay, so you're gonna flatten it out. Tommy thumb goes in the top in the small hole and the finger family goes in the big hole and you're just gonna cut this in half. So you're just gonna cut, open, shut, open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. You're gonna cut your cupcake liner in half. This was an extra in case we made mistakes. I don't need it. Now I have these two halves. So, oh, I missed a step, didn't I? What's the first step? That's right, I gotta write my name. So I'm gonna write my name on my paper. Okay, so I've written my name on my paper. I've cut my cupcake liner in half. Now I'm going to glue it down. So remember, when we use glue, we don't need a lot of glue. We only need a little bit of glue. And do we put glue all over the paper? or do we glue on the piece that we're gluing down? Yeah, we, whoops, 
we put glue on the piece that we're gluing down onto the paper. My glue has dried up a little bit, so it's a little bit stiff. So that's why it's giving me a little bit of trouble. Okay, so now I'm gonna press this down on my piece of paper and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other half. Now, it's gonna be a little bit boring right now because it's white cupcake liner on white paper. That's okay, I'm gonna put the other one here. I'm gonna put my glue down for just a second while I do this. Okay, I don't need my scissors right now. So now I can show you what I've done. So I've glued my cupcake liners down. Now I'm going to take my crayon or my marker and I'm gonna color in my turtle. I'm gonna color it in all over. So I want you to do a really good job of coloring in your turtle. You remember turtles can also be brown and their shells are kind of interesting, right? They have like little shapes on them, like in our book here. Little, they're not scales, although Earl, my red-eared slider turtle, when she grows, part of her shell flakes off the top part, kind of like a scale. I can't remember right now exactly what they're called. I'll have to look it up for you. Okay. So now I've colored in my two turtles. So I am going to take the pieces that are their heads. So these kind of round pieces, I'm gonna put some glue on that. Okay, this turtle's head is going to be over here. And then this turtle's head is going to be Right here, okay, so I'll show you what I've done. So I've put our turtle's heads, just kind of poking up a little bit out of their shell. Now, here's where it gets a little bit kind of interesting. So we have to do some cutting. So you have these skinny rectangles, right? And then you should have two fat rectangles. So the fat rectangles, I want you to do this. I want you to trim some off the edge. So just take off two corners. So remember we talked about our points or our corners. So I'm gonna put the long side facing up and we're gonna count them, one, two. So these are the two points we're gonna cut off and we're just gonna go like this, one, and then I'm gonna flip it and two. That's all. You could round it if you want a little bit at the end but you don't have to. Turtle's tails are pretty pointed. So I'm gonna do that to both of my tails. One and two, a little bit round, okay? Then the other side of the turtle from where you glued the head on, that is where the tail goes. Not on the same side and not poking out of its back, right? So it's on the other side from where you glued the head on. So I'm just gonna go like this, and I don't need my scissors anymore. And I'm gonna glue my tail on just along the other side from the head. I'm gonna do that for both my tails. Okay, and then these skinny pieces are its legs. If you want, some of them are uneven. You can cut them in half to make their legs shorter. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna cut two of the skinny pieces in half to make shorter legs. So then I don't need these or I could use them to make another turtle later. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue and I'm gonna glue them down. So our turtles, how many legs do our turtles have? Four, that's right, they've got two front legs and then they've got two back legs. Okay, so we're gonna glue our legs on. It's okay if they're not all the same length. Does not matter. Okay, so I got one turtle done. So now I'm gonna do the other turtle. Two legs. Three legs. And four legs. Okay, so now my turtles are glued, I can put my glue stick away, put the cap on. All right, so I'll show you what I did. So here are my turtles. Now I have two eyeballs and they're already stickers so I can peel them off. 
Make sure that the little sticky part comes with them. That's the important part. And just stick. There we go. The eyeball's on. Like that. There. My turtles are done. Now if I wanted, I could draw the pond. I could draw some grass. Maybe I'll draw a log where the turtles are hanging out, like in our story. That would be really cool. So that's what I want you to do today, is I just want you to make a turtle out of what I gave you. Whoops. And it doesn't have to look exactly like my turtles. You could have used different colors. Maybe you've decided you're gonna have rainbow turtles and that's totally okay. So that is what we are doing for craft today. And then for our activity today, I want you to play in your pond. So I want you to use your frogs and I want you to use maybe the little logs that I gave you and just do some small world play. So pretending that you're the frogs or maybe you have other things at home that you can use to pretend are other animals. So remember in our talk with Jason, we learned about other things that can live in the pond. So there might be snakes or there might be, um, there could be turtles or frogs. Maybe there's squirrels and stuff that are kind of around the pond. So I want you to play a little bit like that. I want you to practice some scooping and some pouring in the water too, and just have a lot of fun. That is all I have for you today. So let's do the magic box. All right. Mr. Sean picked the magic box today. So let's see. I have two questions from friends. Dayson wants to know what would it do if it were alive? Well, it wouldn't be alive, but if it was real, I mean, it is kind of real, but yeah, mm, it would make a lot of noise. That's what it would do. If it was in the real world, it would make a lot of noise. And Colton wants to know what color it is. It's red and silver. So the other questions I could have answered are, mm, what sound does it make? And I might tell you that it goes um, like a kind of clanging noise, mm, or maybe it sounds a little bit like bells. And how do you use it? You use it to make a lot of noise. Mm. I think I actually might have used one of these before in a magic box, but that's okay. So if it was real, it would make a lot of noise. That's exactly what you do with it. You make a lot of noise and it is red. And it would live in my classroom. Have you guessed what's inside? Those are really good guesses. So let's see. If you guessed that I had a musical instrument inside my magic box, you would be totally right. All right, so that is all I have for you today. This week, we are learning more and more about the pond. So today was the turtles. Tomorrow, we're gonna do a zones of regulation activity. So we're gonna use our scissor skills and we're gonna talk a lot about our feelings and the different feelings that we can have. We're gonna do a snake on Thursday and on Friday, we're gonna make something called mud oblique, which is basically really messy play. So I'm really excited to get all my friends messy this week. That's all I have for you today. So let's get out our working hands. All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. Bye friends, see you tomorrow. It's that.